Hello and welcome to the Clever Fox YouTube channel. My name is Elise and today we are going to be planning in the Clever Fox Weekly Planner Pro Premium Edition for the month of June and also the first couple of weeks of June. I'm going to be showing you how to take your plans from a monthly calendar, putting everything down in the month, whether it's color coding or using fun stickers to note bills and holidays and birthdays and all of that kind of stuff into your actual weekly plan so that at the end of the day, you can see what your planner looks like, what your day looks like, finding the best way to create your ideal schedule. Make sure that you are subscribed to our channel so you don't miss any future videos and that you watch the whole video so you don't miss any of the tips and tricks that we are sharing today. So let's get started. All right, so let's get started. One of my favorite features about this planner is that it's undated, which means that you can start at any time. And if maybe there's a month that things fall off a little bit and you haven't had a chance to open your planner, that's okay because you can just continue without feeling like you're wasting pages in the planner. So first up, let's get this dated because like I said, this is an undated planner. So we are going to date this for the month of June. Also, if you wanted to, you could date this backdating from May. So if you wanted to be sure that you had your whole month at a view, in addition to this full week over here, you could write 31, 30, and 29 for May if you needed to take a look at that. All right, first up, let's get the important things in here. Those things that you don't want to forget, like June 19th is Father's Day. So I'm going to take a marker and just kind of make this fun. We'll sort of color in that section over there to note Father's Day. And also going to take another color to note the beginning of summer. Who's excited for summer? I know I am. So I like this, just kind of having these pops of color in here to note the things that you're going to want to remember. So let's put this in here, Father's Day. Because this is an undated planner, the dates, the holidays aren't automatically going to be in here. So you'll want to take a moment to write them in and summer begins. Okay, we'll get a little exclamation point in there with summer beginning. Now I am going to take some Clever Fox Planner stickers and note a couple of other important things that are vital for me when it comes to my planner. So I get paid weekly on Mondays, so I'm going to note payday there and be aware of paydays as they relate to my budget and things like that. Stick this down. And I like that these are corner stickers because they don't take up too much space when it comes to the rest of the boxes where you can put in whatever else you may have coming up throughout that month. Then we are going to take some bill stickers. So we've got these bill ones. We also have these wider boxes. So these boxes have a little dollar sign on them and these stickers have a little credit card one on there. I'm just gonna go ahead actually and take these bill stickers and then we can write them in down here. So I'm going to put each of my bills in the same little section down here. I like uh, down at the bottom of the box, I like to be able to have them in the same place. So I know I'm looking at this bottom left corner for a bill that's due when it comes to planning out my week and getting my bills paid. So we are going to put these down one more. Okay. So bills are in, let's go ahead and write what they are. So what you could also do is write the bill and then put a little box here that you can check or highlight. You might wanna highlight over the entire word uh, once you've paid the bill so you make sure that you're not missing any payments. So I'm gonna write that and continue. Okay, so bills are in. And then I also like to use these grocery stickers for grocery shopping because we're gonna block a little bit of Father's Day right here, but that's okay. I like to do my grocery shopping on Sunday and I like these boxes because then you can write how much you spent on groceries to be able to kind of calculate and see how much you need to budget for your groceries the following month. So just kind of putting one of these here is really helpful. It looks like I've blocked a little bit more of Father's Day. So we are just going to lift that sticker and move it over just a touch to the left. All right, let's look for some fun stickers to include. So I'm going to grab some birthday stickers and also 
some boxes to go along with them. We're going to grab that one and we'll put a little birthday cake right here and then we'll note whose birthday it is and another one right here. So on the 17th is my friend Jennifer and Michael. Right now I'm going to look for a bigger sticker to note and also something, let's see, let's find maybe a time sticker because on June 9th, I'm going to be working a short day because I have a special dinner. So I have my nice big stack of Clever Fox stickers over here and I'm going to choose the right one. Let's see. I like this celebratory sticker. So I have that taken off and then I just wanna find the box that I'm going to choose to go along with it. Let's see, I might actually end up writing it in. I thought I had another sticker on my hand. We may have lost it. <laughs> That's all right. And then let's maybe bring in some color here. And right, mom's retirement dinner. It's a fun reason to stop work early for an early dinner to celebrate my mom who is a teacher and so excited for her at this next stage of her life. All right, now I'm going to get an appointment sticker and this little cute set of scissors and a comb for a haircut appointment. And that is on Saturday the 18th. And I'm pulling these dates from, I'm not looking at my phone right now, but I personally like to put things in my phone, which I always have with me where I might not have a planner, a large planner, and then kind of transfer everything into the planner so I can make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. Okay, so now we are making progress in terms of getting the month planned out. Okay, now let's talk about color coding when it comes to your monthly spread. So. Sometimes things come up, you know that it, they may be happening every week or every month, but you don't necessarily know when they will be. Like for example, I know that my nephew has baseball games on Wednesday nights. They just kind of vary in terms of time and location and he has soccer games on Saturdays. So because I wanna make sure that I account for those in my schedule, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight over here on Wednesday and we will note on the left side of the page what this color is for. So whether you are tracking maybe someone's work schedule or school schedule or sports games like I'm doing here, it's really helpful to be able to use markers or highlighters to kind of color code those. So we're gonna do that and then I'm going to do the same one with this pretty green. So baseball is going to be coral and soccer will be this green. And as I'm looking at this, like, oh, I hope soccer's not in the morning that day because I am getting a haircut, otherwise <laughs> I won't make it. And then I'll take this and I said that baseball is the coral and soccer is the green. And then this other note section is where you can just list things, whether it's something that comes up, plans that you wanna make, things like that, where you just need to find the time to put them in, reminders of things not to forget. All right, this month's goals. So I moved in May. And I am still really trying to just adjust to a new space and setting up my apartment and all of that. So I am going to use this blue color here to note home-related goals. So we're gonna put that down. And home-related goals are finish setting up my office and set up or mm, create a cleaning schedule, making sure that everything is clean. This is a bigger apartment than I've ever lived in and more rooms. And so there's a lot that I need to make sure I am cleaning each some, some places each day, like my kitchen counter, things like that. And some are more weekly. Um, so finish setting up my office, create a cleaning schedule and decorate living room and bedroom. Okay, now let's create another category. So let's set some financial goals. And the financial goals are going to be save $100 every week, contribute to retirement, and start saving for vacation. All right, finally, I am going to set two personal goals and I'm going to write read for books, it's one book a week, I think it's doable, and two visits with friends. 
Okay, now I wanna move over to this section right here. Skills and habits to learn, places to go and people to see. One thing I always wanted to do and distractions to avoid. So skills and habits to learn. Like I said, now that I've moved into a new space, I really want to learn the best way to clean, not just like put things away, but really be better about cleaning and organizing. So I'm going to write cleaning and organizing. And because that relates to my personal goal, I'm just going to bring in color. Oh, that's not my personal goal. That is my home goal. So we are going to bring this blue in here just to brighten that up a little bit. Places to go and people to see. So I want, I want visits with two of my friends. So I'm gonna write them in here. And we'll bring the color in. Distractions to avoid. Distractions to avoid is also gonna be related to my goal of reading four books. So distractions to avoid is the social media time suck, sitting on my phone late at night when I should be resting or reading or cleaning or something like that. So um, distractions to avoid um, too much time on social media. All right, now we can bring that into this, yeah, not yellow goal, into this blue goal and one thing I always wanted to do, honestly, I'm doing it right now and I'm going to celebrate it, is have my own office. I moved into a bigger apartment so I could have my own office because I work from home and getting it set up and decorated and all of that is really a big goal of mine so that it's not just a room that I'm sitting in because it's the room I'm sitting in all day long. All right, now that June is sort of planned out, let's go ahead into a weekly. And I also wanted to share with you, one of the great things about this planner is the monthly review. So at the end of each month, you can take a look at what were your biggest wins, what were the biggest lessons learned and insights gained, which life areas were lacking and why, what tasks were not accomplished and why, how do I feel about my progress, I am looking forward to, things I will do to make myself happy next month, and how I'll improve next month. And now we are going to go into the weekly. So let's go ahead and get this dated. So we have June and we are going to date down here. So starting with Monday. And then I'm also gonna flip to the next page and get, get those dated. Because this is where you're going to transfer plans from your monthly over to your weekly spread. All right, so this is where these ribbons come in handy because you'll be able to easily flip back and forth between them. So on June, where are we looking? We are starting here. So June 6th, we have nothing. On June 7th, there is the bill that's due. So let's grab bill due sticker for June 7th. So priority is going to be getting that bill paid. And let's turn back to look at what it is. That is a Capital One credit card. All right, then on the 9th, that is the half day work-wise. So let's bring in Thursday and kind of just note here that there's a half day and we'll take a highlighter and kind of shade this section down here and write the plans. Okay, now, Let's see what else on the 11th is another fill that's due and that is electric. So I like putting that as a priority because it is priority. One of those things that you're going to always look for this section for today's goal and priorities. All right, and let's see, we are in the week of the 6th through the 12th. Okay, so I can also note payday and we can do groceries. So Monday, let's bring this green in here and write payday. And while I'm doing that, I may as well do it on the next week as well because we you know that Mondays are paydays. All right, let's see if there's anything else in this week that we need to add in. Groceries, all right, so then one of the goals on Saturday is going to be to prep a grocery uh, list. Actually, it can be a Sunday, a Sunday goal. So let's use some shading as well. And we're going to do make a grocery list. All right, and then to get back 
to one of the goals for the month in terms of a cleaning schedule, I want to use this habit tracker over here just as we're kind of prepping the month a little bit to plan ahead to list a couple of things. So first of all, I want to list reading each day and um, drinking 80 ounces of water. Then another way that I want to use this habit tracker for me personally, let's bring you in a little bit closer, is kind of organizing the areas in my home to clean. So I'm going to write kitchen, bedroom, office, bathroom, and then maybe floors as just like a general overall. And if you're someone who doesn't have a ton of habits that you wanna track, that's another way that you can do it. You can also use these habit trackers for email, messages, things like that. Things that you just want to make sure that you're checking off each day. That doesn't mean that I'm going to do a full cleaning of my kitchen every day. It might not need it, but it's one of those like, oh, put this away, take something off the counter, things like that. All right, let's go into week two and just kind of set this up. So I know that Sunday is Father's Day. Probably end up having a family barbecue is usually my family's norm. So I'm gonna write Father's Day here. And then let's get a little reminder in here too. Buy cards. Double exclamation point as not to forget that. <laughs> All right, going back to the month. So this is the week of the 13th. We have a bill due on the 15th. And that was, which bill is that? Car insurance. So priority is going to be pay car insurance. So I spoke about moving your plans from your phone into your monthly calendar. And now we are taking the monthly calendar and moving it into the weekly. And I just really like that because then when you open the week, you already have some things set in here and planned, and then you know where else you can fill in the space. All right, car insurance. Saturday, we've got the birthday, Jennifer's birthday. So let's take a box here and look for another birthday sticker. I have a couple of different packs of stickers here between budget and let's take this celebration sticker. Let me not forget the day. That was the 17th. So let's take this one and we are going to write Jennifer. And I wanna see how the habit tracker works out for me this week before I move it over into this week. Because sometimes you learn some things as the week goes on that makes you decide whether or not you wanna bring it into the following week. All right, on the 18th is the haircut. So we do have another haircut sticker and that is at 10 a.m. So I'm actually gonna take one of these dew stickers and we're gonna kind of cover it up, cover up the dew part. So I'm gonna put that right there and we'll write hair at 10 a.m. Okay, and where else? And then we have Father's Day. So also is going to at some point be a grocery to-do list. Um, but I think that I'm off to a good start. I feel good about the month in terms of what I want to get done, what I need to get done, what holidays and events are happening. And the first two weeks are sort of already prepped a little bit so that as the days go on, I can fill in everything that needs to get done. So that is a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. Everything you see here today can be purchased over at cleverfoxplanner.com. If you are not already subscribed to our channel, please do take a moment to like this video and subscribe and we will see you soon.